United States. Over there you have the Battleship, New Jersey Museum and Memorial, Jewelers Row which we passed through yesterday on our walk, and over there I'll definitely show you a better view in it just a second. We have the Philadelphia City Hall and William Philadelphia, 
the Chinatown Friendship Gate, which we also walked through yesterday, the National Constitution Center, and much more. As I mentioned before, above the city hall stands William or Billy Penn. This is to commemorate all of his contributions to this city. And the local legend actually stated that it would be bad luck to build a building taller than the brim of his hat. However, when the One Liberty Place was completed in 1987, this building stood taller than the brim of his hat. So unfortunately, all four of their major sports teams did lose their championship titles. Um, and then in June 2007, when the Comcast Center was built, it was even taller and a super superstitious iron worker actually placed a small statue of William Penn on top to end this curse. And actually, the Phillies, the baseball team, won the World Series the year after. room and we're setting up a little I guess picnic it's so hot outside that we really can't do it outside in the grass especially with COVID-2 and the mask situation but we did go to Chinatown and we picked up a few things from a few different stores so this is a lychee boba with tapioca balls at the bottom from this place called Tito and so far it's really good I would rate it probably like nine and a half out of ten um and then we got this thing called a poke burrito. It has ahi tuna and then a lot of different toppings in the center. We then have some soup dumplings, I believe. Um, and then we have a few other dumplings over here as well. And then over in this bag, we have egg tart and a soft bread. got a few really cute pictures and now we just went through the reading terminal market which was established in 1893 we picked up a prickly pear kombucha as well as an ice cream cookie um, it's from a place called Bassett and we have a white chocolate macadamia cookie and a Heath um, crunch bar cookie and then coffee ice cream in the middle hi everyone i'm currently editing this video um first of all don't mind my hair with topia on tiktok you probably know who she is she was showing how she did her hair and i'm trying it not the point of this anyways um so last time on my last couple of vlogs from literally a year ago a lot of people said 
they didn't like how much reading they had to do, and I totally understand. So I'm here with a video explaining what's going on. Um, so the girls came to our hotel and they picked us up. It's Claire and Audrey. Um, you'll see them a little later too, but they're the same girls that I was in Vancouver with a year ago in June. Um, but we went to UPenn first because we were already in Pennsylvania, obviously. Um, we walked on the campus for a little while. It definitely wasn't really my favorite. Um, it was also really empty, so there weren't like a lot of people to talk to if we had questions at all. <laughs> She went to Princeton, which I really like the campus. Their buildings were very pretty. Um, and we just walked around for a little while there and grabbed dinner and then headed to the hotel for the night. Okay, so I just got into the room. It's kind of cute, see? We have one bed in there, one bed in there, a little kitchenette, and a living room space. We're just here for the night. We finished at UPenn and Princeton. Him that one. We're um, visiting my college. Well, that so, yeah. there's, there's another question for you. Oh, that must have been when you were peeing. <laughs> no, it's so sad. Okay, so we, we talked to an officer named Murray. We talk okay. to a security um, person for Yale. It's a little too streaky for me. Streaky is it's streaky. An officer, a security um, person for flawless. flawless. He was telling us about how. There's, I think, over five or three hundred of five hundred five hundred of those blue lights with these call boxes, and any time there's any suspicious activity or something that someone wants to report or just talk to a security person in general, they're able to press five five times and immediately be in contact with someone. Um, he also told us a few brief things about um, Yale itself. Um, yeah, so he was pointing out some of the dorm things. Um, he showed us the Polly Murray and the Benjamin Franklin. He also told us about um, the women's table. Um, so he had a lot of really good, interesting information. And now we're going to continue exploring some of the other colleges. are now at the cross I believe that's what it's called and this here is the Sterling Library um, it probably has a lot of lot of books I'll put the number somewhere if I find it um, <laughs> I also spoke to a, one of the 
the Yale students and he was actually here for his MBA so he didn't have too much info on the um, like undergrad traditions and such but he also did his undergrad at Cornell so I was able to get a little feel for Cornell without being in New York I guess um, and so yeah he told me a lot of great information he was talking about how there's a lot of really great speakers who come here he once went to a seminar that had four um, secretary of state and speakers and it was amazing and he said the professors are immaculate and so I think Yale is definitely at the top of my list I've heard I heard really great things from both him and some other students that I've spoken to in the past so excited to continue looking through this campus hello so it is currently Friday night um I met up with Madden and we went to we went to um, a pizza place called Your Side Pizza. Oh God. And then um, we found Anna. We Megan did find Anna. I'll insert the TikTok right here. And <laughs> now we have been hanging out for a little bit, catching up. You know the yeah. vibes. Parking was free, which was really nice. Uh, yeah, it was a little gift. So um, I love that a lot. <laughs> anyways, so I'm gonna head back into my hotel for the nuit. Unfortunately, Megan did not answer. Yeah, we didn't really get to speak to everyone all together, but. That is okay. We'll just go back to our usual ways of FaceTime. But yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. I am so glad this worked out. But anyways, I had a lot of fun today. So I will say good night. Good night. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I am now in Rhode Island. We are on Brown University's campus. We're at Pokey Works for lunch really quick. Um, I'm actually gonna try a pokey noodle that's made with kale noodles. Kind of interesting, something new. Um, and then we'll probably go across the street to the Ben & Jerry's, um, maybe grab some ice cream. We slept in till like, I don't know, 10-ish today and then we checked out, did a little skirt skirt drive and now we're here so i have a little campus map we haven't really been doing the exact tours just because they kind of take a while and we just want to kind of feel the vibes of the campuses um so i think that's about all for now i um had a lot of fun yesterday and i'm excited to see this campus i I wasn't like too sure what it would really be like because Rhode Island kind of seemed like a pretty small area, but um, so far I like it. They have a lot of really good food options. Um, I have a lot of mosquito bites too from, I think, just, I don't know, a mix of a few different states, but um, they're very itchy. I don't know if that's information that you would enjoy hearing, but um, that's all. So I will see you, I'll show you my food, and then we'll probably get ice cream, I'm assuming, and then we will be on our little mini campus tour.
We just got, oh my goodness, my hair is just not going. Um, we just got to the hotel room from Harvard. I love you anyway. You can twirl. We looked around a little bit, talked to a few people, got us to feel of the campus. And when we, <laughs> when we came back to the hotel, there was a little jar of these candies. They have no name at all or anything. So we're going to do a little taste test. What if they have like drugs in them? online for y'all so i have a pink one I she has pink a one. pink one she has like a dark red one mm. 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 It's a, mm. i think it's maybe watermelon and so it's very good y'all mine's cherry <laughs> it's a little melted so it has like a soft coating on the outside and then it's hard they're really sticky. Mm -hmm. Final verdict, everyone. So is the cream. Yeah, it's basically just a Jolly Rancher. Okay, segment over. <laughs> <laughs> 